Matt here with Mobile Solar. Today we're testing these Orions, the XS and the 1400 to see how hot they'll get. We also want to see at what temperature they will begin to reduce their output to avoid overheating and what kind of temperature they plateau at. So here at Mobile Solar Consulting, we install DC-DC chargers like the Orion XS, as well as other brands. We're a distributor and installer of many electrical products. But today we wanted to build on the video that we created before, which we'll link in the description, where we talked about, do you need a fan behind your Orion XS or your Orion XS 1400 to keep it cool? During that video, we only tested the Orions for one hour. And during that time, they were exposed to the air, they were installed straight up and down, or in an air conditioned room. So they did not reach their maximum temperature. They did not overheat or ramp down their production in order to stay cool. They continued producing 50 amps of output current the entire video. So today, we wanted to make sure they got nice and warm. So we've put them in a sealed box and, well, not completely sealed, but just about sealed with small gaps for a tiny bit of airflow, which is more typical of what we see of a DIYer coming in and bringing in their van to show us what they've done. We often see these things installed in a very poorly ventilated compartment. So we wanna see in that scenario, how long does it take for the Orion to reach its maximum temperature and then begin to ramp down its performance and what is that temperature that they reach? So we've got them hooked up with plenty of power on the input side at 12 volts. They're hooked up to my truck's alternator. And then on the output side, they're both charging an empty lithium battery. And we have the ability to turn on a load on that lithium battery and make sure we drain it at that same rate that it's being charged at from the Orions. So we'll be able to do this all day. We'll do it as long as it takes until we reach that maximum temperature and see them reducing their output to stay at that temperature. Guys, we've only been rolling for 10 minutes and the temperature of the excess is already 150 degrees Fahrenheit. The XS 1400 is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Much cooler, but still hot. All right, we are 90 minutes in and we just got a notification on Victron Connect that the Orion XS is derating its current. So it's reducing the power output to stop overheating. And right now it is at 200 degrees Fahrenheit and we're getting 46 amps of output. So still pretty good for considering that it is almost at the boiling temperature of water. All right, so we finished up our test. It took about two hours. Right around the point where the Orion XS started to derate itself, that was at 90 minutes, we noticed that things started to really level off after that. There was a plateau in the temperatures nothing was really happening for a while so we added some tape just painters tape to seal up the gaps that air was flowing through and after we did that there was a big difference so the excess started to really derate itself much much more and the xs 1400 began to heat up it was kind of stuck around 190 and it began to heat up to um, reached the same temperature as the excess, almost reaching 200 and derating itself as well. It definitely took the 1400 much longer to get there. The excess 1400 took almost two full hours to start derating itself, whereas the excess only took about 90 minutes. So we've shown you the data on screen, but I just wanted to point out that 200 degrees Fahrenheit is what the Orions are targeting, what they're beginning to reduce their output to maintain a 200 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. That's 93 degrees Celsius. These cables are rated to 105 degrees Celsius when they're dry or 75 degrees when they're wet. And many of the other cables on the market are not rated as high. So if we're allowing the Orions to reach 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 degrees Celsius, that makes me a little uncomfortable that things around them aren't gonna start getting damaged, even if they can handle that temperature. 
So when we install Orions in a vehicle, we make sure we use the Orion XS fan adapter. That's gonna be linked in the description and it just blows cool air at the Orion. It has a temperature sensor, so it turns on and off automatically and it keeps the Orion at about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want more test data showing the performance of the Orion XS and 1400 with the fan adapter installed behind it, you can watch the video on the screen now.